12, settlement and other expenses. Guys, settlement expenses are portions that the seller will pay towards the closing of the loan. This does deduct from their total take home when they're all said and done, their net payout on the thing. So you wanna be careful what you put in here and you also need to speak to your loan originator about how much you can put in here. There are certain expenses and there's certain amounts that the FHA and the VA and the Texas Veteran Land Board and all those groups will not allow you to pay. So you wanna be very, very careful about what you put in here. Please don't just put something in here blindly thinking, oh, well, I'll write the offer up for $400,000, but I want to, you know, $2,000 towards the settlement expenses or $20,000. You can't do that. You got to be very careful about it because it will bind you up. Best thing to do is speak to your loan originator. Um, they, they are there to serve you and they don't get to get paid until they close the loan either. So make sure you do that. Sometimes you will have extenuating circumstances where you will have somebody, and I happened to catch this the other day. And this is a property that I showed one of my clients. But it says right here, motivated seller is offering $8,000 in concessions. So sometimes you'll see this in here and we can put that in there, put $8,000 in there for the concessions. But make sure you talk to your loan originator about that. And if you have any questions, reach out to your broker. That's kind of a tricky one you want to make sure you get some help with, especially if you're new to this. Prorations, casualty loss, default, mediation, read through all of this, guys. But the next thing I want to get to is section 21 here. Should you have a lawyer involved or anything else, if there's anything in writing that needs to go down to, you can contact the buyer. You need to put their address in here and the seller in here. This is a good place to put their addresses should we have anything to go in there. And if there's an attorney that comes up that they want to have their attorney look something over, not just their realtor, you need to make sure to put that in here. So those are two really big places. So this is anything that needs to be mailed to the buyer, goes to this address and the seller at this address, because it's not always the home address. They may be absentee owners. It could be a PO box. You could have phone numbers, emails. Be sure to fill this out so we know who to communicate with. Also guys, should there be any additional pieces of information that you need to add to this. Any addendums or amendments to the contract, this is where it's gonna go. These are all addendums, because we're gonna be adding things to the contract. The third party financing addendum is very, very, very um, useful. We do that one a lot, sometimes seller financing. But as you use your, every deal is a little bit different, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you click this so they know that there's more than just the pages that you're submitting at this particular document. Also over here, if it's not in here, you need to list it over here, guys. Again, if you need help, let us know. Um, section 23 is the termination option. This is what's commonly referred to as the option period. This is very, very important because you want to be able to back out of this contract should anything happen. This is the buyer's option. And so the buyer of the contract, whoever's buying the house, is going to have an option fee. This has to be filled out if you want an option. It can be as little as $1, but there has to be some sort of consideration. You cannot say $0 that does that null and voids the contract. So you could say $1, you could say $100, whatever it is. This really depends on the price of the house and how long of an option period you want. Kind of the standard that I see is usually 10 days and it's $100, $10 a day. Let me get my inspector in there. Let me look at the report and see if it's going to apply, if I have any reason to get out of this contract. Followed by that, guys, you need to, so in some bigger properties, let's say I'm looking at buying some land and I want to know if I can drill oil on it and it's going to take me a long time. You can say it's going to take me a full year to do it and I'll pay you $10,000 or $100,000 to get this option because sometimes there's big money involved and they'd rather lose money here than on the back end. And then lastly in this section here, the option fee will or will not be credited to the sell price at closing. Basically, is this $100,000, or like I said here, it's usually 100 for 10 days. Will that be credited towards the sell? You need to say it will or will not be credited to the sell there. Again, once again, this is the consultant attorney. This executed line does not need to be filled out until both parties have signed. So me and my wife and White Line Realty. Once both parties have signed, the broker will fill in the final acceptance date. 